Hello, my friends. Welcome to Talk to Me Tuesday for Tuesday, August 15th, 2023. This is Jennifer. Well, as you can see, there's been no progress on this guy. Um, I'm actually planning to get my border pieces ready to take this weekend. I will be sewing with my friend Janice. We've made ourselves a, a regular sewing date and that's what I'll be doing this weekend. Um, I've actually been uh, using my little table. I've got it set up with my Janome machine on it. Um, it's set up for buttonholes right now so that I can make the pajama pants without having to like stop and set a machine up. So that's been really great because the uh, drawstring goes through buttonholes. Speaking of pajamas, I did finish one pair. Um, I did these on Sunday. These are the purple ones and you can see the buttonholes and I mean same exact pattern, same exact everything, just different fabric. I also had the great pleasure of going to Austin Creative Reuse on Saturday with my eldest child. We had a mommy and me day and it was great. We went out to eat, we went to ACR, we went to Barnes & Noble and it was just, it was a really, really good day. Um, I found a few things. Um, first, I made a donation. You may have actually seen my bag hanging from the end of my table when I sh shared the photos of, of this table. It was hanging from the end of, end of my funny table. I had like pom-poms and some other stuff in it. So I'd made a donation and then we did, a, we did a little shopping. We just kind of poked around the whole store and I did find a couple of fun things. Okay, so not so much fun, but this is a one inch thick piece of like sample, I don't know, wood. It's, I think it's for like a finish or something. It's, I don't know what it is, but it cost me 50 cents and I am going to try to set up my Singer 301 on this to make it tall enough to go in this table. I haven't tried it yet, so I will let you know how that goes. I also found the mother load of one and a half inch elastic, which is what I need for the pajamas I've been making. And it still has plenty of elastic in it. I mean, you never know, elastic can go bad. so. It's, at least this piece has plenty of elastic in it, and this cost me $7.75. To give you some context, this cost me $7. So $7.75, $7. So the reason I wanted to get some more elastic is because I also got a pattern for myself. Um, this was either a quarter or 50 cents, I don't remember. And it's a thoroughly 1980s sewing pattern, but it is... It has pajama pants and I love the wide legs so I thought I'd give this a shot and for the price it's hard to be beat and uh, I also have plenty of elastic now so yeah this is going to be on the agenda after I finish the pants that I'm making for my husband. I did cut out the other two pairs so that I can just sit down and sew them when I'm ready. They're, they're cut, they're marked, they're ready to go. Um, getting a little tired of PJs so I think what I'm going to do is I have another project I want to work on probably today or tomorrow, which is a cover for my KitchenAid. And I think I'm going to do that next and then I'll go back to PJs. Hey guys, it's me from like two hours later jumping in because as soon as I mentioned to you that I wanted to make the KitchenAid stand mixer, I just decided I was doing it next. It's already done. And so I don't know what else I'll be doing this week, probably more PJs. Anyway, so I wanted to show you guys this. I did a super simple version. It is, uh, here you go. It looks a lot like a uh, sewing machine cover. This is a pattern from So Can She. It's a free pattern on this website. And um, this has a really interesting uh, model because uh, the tutorials are free and the patterns are free, but if you would like a printed pattern, they're like $3. So um, this part was free, but like if you want the instructions and everything else in a pattern, and you can pay for that. I just printed this and followed the instructions. Super simple. Um, this is a very, very simplified version of the one that she has. You can do pockets, you can do quilting. Um, I chose not to quilt mine. I actually put a uh, fusible fleece inside of it. And so here we go. I did one thing that was not called for, which was I actually serge the inside seams because I just didn't want the raw edges. And then here we go. I love this binding. My kitchen is red. My kitchen aid is red. Um, but as you guys may remember, I, I've mentioned before, I'm going to be getting a new kitchen sometime in the next six months to a year. It's kind of the last on the list of home improvement stuff to do. So I'm leaning towards doing maybe white cabinets, but keeping all of my red accessories, which is why I went ahead and made a red cover. So yeah, super happy with this. Um, also, I think this height 
would work for my Juki. It wouldn't, this piece would need to be longer, but this is just a rectangle. So I may actually use this and measure on my Juki and see if it'll work because I do want to do sewing machine covers for my other, see all of these guys have plastic covers. I'd love to make covers for those, but I want to wait for um, my quilt machine to be set up again because I would like to quilt my sewing machine covers. I did do one other thing last week, which I really want to share with you guys. It was my friend Domine's birthday and I made her a little gift. So past me is going to tell you all about it. Hello, my friends. It's me from the past coming to you to show you a little gift that I made for my friend Domine. Um, her birthday was last week i wanted to make her a little zippy bag and i was trawling through all of my designs that i have saved over the years for my embroidery machine and then i was like you know i wasn't finding what i wanted so i went to urban threads and i found this super cute design that is called uh wannabe unicorn and it's got a little narwhal with the little unicorns and then i added her name and this was um i started with six and a half by ten and a half inch fabric and made this little zipper bag and these are there you go ducks or geese or something i can't really eh, i think they look like ducks but anyway i thought it was really cute um i wanted the inside to be different and fun and then i had these little um swarovski crystals that i think janice gave me i'm not 100 percent sure they were just kind of in my jewelry stuff and so yeah this is um a birthday gift for domine she did really enjoy that and it just turned out that I happened to give it to her the day before she and her husband went on vacation so she ended up taking it with her. So guys that is going to be it for me. I hope you have a really wonderful crafty week. I'd love to hear what you're working on. If you're making videos then definitely do a show and tell. If you're not, if you're not comfortable with that, let me know in comments what you're doing or share your social media with me. I am on Instagram all the time and I would love to know if you're on Instagram too. Um, I have other accounts but that's the one I use the most. So you guys let me know how you're doing. Let me know what you're doing. And I will see you guys next week.